Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. From today, I am going to start a new series of full stack car rental system using Spring Boot and Angular project. So this is the first part of this playlist. So today, in this part, I will give you a complete overview of the project. So in this application, we have the two roles. The first one is admin and the second one is a customer. You can see the components that is a login. And here you can see the component that is a sign up. So let's register here the new customer. You can see here sign up successful. Let's go to our login component, and here I'm adding here the credential of the admin. Let's click on login. So you can see here it's navigating us to admin dashboard for the authentication. I've used Spring Security in Spring Boot. Let me click here car component, and here I'm adding the image of the car. Let me select here audi a6 and here we need to select the brand that is audi and name that is a6 select type hybrid transmission automatic and here i'm selecting the color that is a red model year 2023 and here we need to add the price per day that is 300 dollar and i'm adding here the description like audi a6 let's click on this button and you can see the car posted successfully and you can see the details like the brand name and the name and here you can see the description price color transmission type and the year so this is the main dashboard of the admin where all the cars will show and you can see the button that is update and the delete so let me click on this update button to update this car details like i'm selecting here the model like 2024 and the price i'm adding 350 let's click on this update button and you can see the price and the model here updated successfully let's post another car let me select this image and the brand name let that is bmw name seven series twenty twenty three and the color i'm selecting here black and the price that is four hundred dollar and the description i'm adding here bmw seven series let's click on this post button and you can see car posted successfully so let me click here on this delete button and you can see that is the car deleted successfully and we are getting the updated record from the back end so the next thing in the admin module that is a search functionality of the car so you can see here the different inputs like the brand type color and the transmission if i want to select the car with the two fields like the brand name and the color so let me add here the color silver and the brand name is volvo let me select here the volvo from this drop down and the color that is a silver let's click here on search car and you can see we are getting the result let me refresh the component and here i'm selecting like volvo search car and you can see we are getting the results let me add here like audi search car and you can see we are getting the result so let me log in the customer and you can see the customer module and you can see the dashboard of the customer where all the cars are showing in the dashboard so you can see here the book button so let me click on this button and you can see it's navigating us to the book car component and here you can see the book car form with the inputs that is a from date and to date customer will enter the date and book car so let me add here the date like six and the to date is 10. 
So let me click here on book car and you can see that is a car book successfully and the status for now it's pending and you can see that is a from date and to date and how many days the spring boot will calculate the days and the price according to the car you can see the price per day that is a 200 dollar and here you can see the price for the four days that is 800 and you can see the search component in customer module to search the car so let me select here the volvo from the drop down let's click on this search car button and you can see we are getting the results so let me select here like red search car and you can see so let's log out and log in again the admin So you can see the booking component of the admin the status of this booking is a pending for now and you can see the two button in the action column that is approve and reject of this booking so let me click on this reject button and you can see the status changed successfully that is a rejected so let's log in again the customer you can see that is the status changed successfully in the customer booking component that is a reject for the database i have used my sql so let's go to our workbench and let me show you the database and the table of this project so here you can see the database name that is a car rental underscore db and here you can see the tables of this project the first one is a users and the second one is a cars and the third one is a book car so let me open the users table and you can see we have the admin account credentials that is a email name and the password in the form of the hash and the user role over here and here you can see the for the customers and you can see the role that is a one so one is a basically a customer and the zero is a admin so let me open here the cars table and you can see the details of the car is saved in this table and here you can see the book car table so this table is a relation with the cars you can see here the car id and book car have also relation with the user table you can see here the user id so that's all for now from my side so this is the complete overview of the project that we will build in the next videos i hope you like this video so in the next video we will start the proper implementation of the project if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye